Ramjas Consulting Society brings to you a detailed breakdown of the BCG to Prosto matrix. The BCG matrix, also called the growth share matrix, helps assess a company's current product portfolio based on the product life cycle and the experience curve. This framework enables companies to categorize their products into four segments, namely the stars, cash cows, question marks, and dots. The product life cycle is reflected by market growth and the relative market share mirrors a company's experience curve. Based on these two criteria, investment or disinvestment decisions can be taken for single products once they are plotted into the matrix. Stars form the product segment denoted by high market share in a promising market. To turn a star into a future cash cow, heavy investment is needed to fight competition and expand market share and fully utilize growth potential. Cash cows denote the segment that is characterized by high market share in a slowly growing or a mature market. It creates the highest cash flow. There is no further investment due to limited or no growth potential in it, but trying to milk as long as possible. The third market segment is dogs. It is characterized by low relative market share in a slowly growing or a mature market. Products in this category mostly do not generate profit and may usually just break even. A company should divest from these products as they have a negative effect on the overall profitability of the company. The last and final segment are the question marks. Having low relative market share in a relatively young but promising market, the products lying in this segment have the potential of becoming stars if market share can be increased. Otherwise, if the necessary market share is not reached, they are likely to turn into a poor dog as soon as the market gets more matured. So, careful analysis is required to determine if a company should invest in them or not. Now, let's have a look at the steps to make a BCG 2x2 matrix. Here, we take an example of Apple to understand the steps to be followed in order to construct a BCG 2x2 matrix. Stage 1. Choose the product. BCG matrix can be utilized to operate business units, separate brands, products or firms as a unit itself. Hence, bifurcating the chosen segment into further units is the key. Here, we consider Apple products including iPhones, MacBook, iPad, iWatch, AirPods, Apple TV and iPod. Stage 2. Define the market. The market can be defined by characterizing the segment where the brand or product lies. Apple specializes in the consumer electronics segment. Stage 3. Calculate the relative market share. Relative market share of a company is the product's business this year divided by the leading opponent's business in the current year. In our example, products like iPhone, MacBook, iPad have high market share, while iWatch, AirPods, Apple TV and iPod have a low market share. Stage 4. Find out the market development rate or the growth rate. Market growth rate can be figured on a comparison basis by taking into account the difference between the previous years and the current year's growth. iPhone, MacBook, iWatch and AirPods showcase high market growth rate while iPad, Apple TV and iPod showcase low growth rate. Stage 5. Plot on the matrix. Now that we know the market share and the growth rate of the products, we can plot them on the matrix by characterizing them as stars, question marks, dogs or cash cows. While our star products are iPhones, MacBooks, the cash cows are iPads, while question marks are iWatches, AirPods and dogs are Apple TV and iPod. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel and leave your thoughts down in the comment section below.